preparation is important. So if you prepare and get in position, you can start your new year off ahead of the game. Hey guys, so please forgive my appearance. I'm out here trying to walk and trying to move a little bit today. But I came to this realization that tomorrow starts quarter four. And I feel like that would be great. But I feel like most people take quarter four as like wind down time to really kind of just enjoy the holiday enjoy the success they've had in the year but for those who are really smart quarter four is opportunity to get in preparation <sighs> many many people many many people um when they think of like goal setting they always wait to the last minute everybody wants to wait to this new year's new me you can be a new you at any time of the year. But I do feel like there is some some sort of energetic momentum that happens at the beginning of the year. So it is good to feed off of it. But preparation, I'm sorry y'all, it's bugs like all over this place and it's freaking me out. Preparation is important. So if you prepare and get in position, you can start your new year off ahead of the game. That's what, that's what I want you guys to really think about. So I know quarter four starts tomorrow, and I feel like, in my opinion, I would have already wanted to have a game plan ready to go for quarter four, but I don't. I did put together like this little goal sheet, and I'm gonna sit down and do it later or whatever. So I can just really map out what I want to accomplish in this last quarter and what do I want my 2024 to really look like so I can get in position to have a successful 2024. I feel like a lot of times in the new year, we can start off so strong and then we end up getting burnt out because we're trying to do too much at once. But starting early will help you create you know, a habit and have those habits already going. So that way it is just your lifestyle at that point. But um, I know something specifically that I want to focus on. And this is like a personal goal. This isn't necessarily like a business or a financial goal. I need to get my health in order. Um, I would say one, me, myself is pretty healthy, but I could do better. Um, I tend to cycle sync most of the time, but not like intentionally plan it out. It's kind of just like, oh, I do this here and there. And it has seemed to be very helpful. But this last month, I was not intentional about how I treated my body. And I started my cycle this, this yesterday. And it was terrible, y'all. Literally terrible. Like, my period usually comes in and I don't have to take, like, any ibuprofen. Cramps are, like, a minimum or whatever. But I've been popping ibuprofen because my stomach has been cramping so bad. And I feel like it's because I've been eating crappy. And it was literally just, like, during my luteal phase, like, last two weeks or whatever my boyfriend came to town we ate out so much I think I only cooked once like and that's literally just not even like me I don't think I drank much I just don't think I cooked and I ate a lot of fast food or processed food even if it was healthy so you guys have to realize that those type of things have like um a toll on your body so I'm paying for it now 
So now that I'm on my cycle, I'm trying to do better. Like I didn't have too much movement either. Like I went to the gym like here and there, but like usually I get out and walk. Not if not every day, at least three times a week after work. But I didn't do that at all. Um, so I'm just trying to get back into the flow and the routine of my life. And we cannot, we cannot, you know, change our life because people come into town or like, because something is disrupted. Like we have to learn how to stick specifically to our routine and that is gonna, you know, honestly make you the most successful. It's about discipline and it's about motivation. But those things are like, they can kind of come and go. Cause sometimes you don't always feel motivated to be disciplined. But the thing that beats discipline and the thing that beats mo uh, motivation is a routine. And if you're used to doing something the same way all the time, it's gonna be just in your innate human nature to do it. So that's why it's important that you start to set routines for yourself. I feel like I've always been like a routine kind of girl. And usually when I'm not in routine, I start to get anxious. I start to get depressed or I start to find myself like emotionally eating or bored eating because my life is just not in order or whatever. So routine is important. But like I said, quarter four is here. I'm out here walking, trying to get my steps in or whatever. And I tomorrow I'm going to plan out my week effectively. I'm gonna to try to plan out my workouts, plan out my meals to have it in sync with this cycle sinking. Because when I tell y'all like to have a painless period is like a blessing. Like all my life I've had such terrible cramps, such bad periods, but like these last few months, I want to say probably since about May, like I've had like a peaceful period and I love that for me. So if you guys aren't into cycle syncing or haven't heard of it, I think you guys should really like look into it. I might do a little bit of content here on my channel like surrounding it. So if you guys do want to see that, feel free to comment down below and I can kind of let you guys know what I do kind of like week to week, but one of my physical goals for Q4 is to specifically be intentional about this and do it correctly and not just like as a spur of the moment thing. Um, trying to think what else. Another thing, another one of my goals for Q4 is to really just like build brand awareness around myself, my personal brand, my business. Um, like I said, I've moved to Texas. I've recently graduated in marketing and I've done a lot of freelance marketing work. Sorry, the street is like extra loud. I've done a lot of freelance marketing work or whatever. So I now have a business, Sierra on Social, formerly known as Create a Life You Love LLC. And my goal with this business is to really help people learn how to establish themselves as a brand, as a personal brand, help people, you know, build their own businesses. You guys don't realize that you have to create something that you cannot be fired from. Like the economy is too like finicky these days. And it's important that you put yourself first. You build a legacy for your kids and your family. So, yes, those are my two main goals for Q4. I wanna know what you guys' goals are for Q4. And I don't know if you guys are just 
taking Q4 to wind down? Or are you taking the time to take Q4 to really get in your bag? Get ready for 2020, 20, 2024. Like the years are like flying by at this point. And if you're in the same place that you've been, it's, it's time to, you know, really start making those changes and create a life you love. And it's a period. So. Um, but yeah, let me get back to my walk and pay attention to my surroundings. Really just take in the nature of walking. So talk to you guys later.